uncertainty over when Catalonia will be able to hold its upcoming election came today, when the High Court provisionally suspended the election delay, meaning that as of right now, the vote is set to take place on February 14th once again. However, this move is far from final yet. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Election logistics and preparations resumed today after the High Court provisionally froze the delay pending a final deliberation. Most, but not all, parties are against the judge's decision to undo the plans to hold the vote on May 30th. The government reminds that the postponement is down to public health reasons. Constatem que les circumstàncies sanitàries impedeixen garantir les condicions necessàries per al desenvolupament d'un procés electoral en llibertat El que procedeix en aquests moments és, com no pot ser d'una altra manera, acatar la resolució judicial, esperar que resolgui definitivament el tribunal en el temps en què es pugui produir aquesta resolució. Health authorities believe that the peak of the third COVID-19 wave is very close. Hospitalizations and patients in intensive care are still on the rise, but the growth of transmissions is beginning to slow down. Barcelona Mayor Ada Colau has requested loosening the mobility restrictions of the city again. She said that large crowds would be avoided if Barcelona residents were allowed to leave the city and move throughout the metropolitan area. Britons are already booking their summer holidays to Catalonia. Catalan officials say vaccinations will help the tourism sector recover after a dramatic year and that Brexit will have no major effects. Little supermarkets in Spain have lost a legal battle with Thermomix over a kitchen appliance. A Catalan court ruled that the store's Monsieur Cuisine machines infringes on Thermomix's patent. Little's food processors will now have to be withdrawn from sale.